Hello, welcome to Thursday. We're in Dutch Bros. I wasn't gonna do Dutch Bros. I said I wasn't gonna do Dutch Bros, but... Okay, we're doing Dutch Bros. So it's a ridiculously slow day at work. Um, in fact, my brother even called me and said, hey, don't worry about coming in. It's embarrassingly slow, you know, whatever. Cool, you don't need me to come in, but there's still things I need to come in for. There's paperwork, there's things I'm working on. In fact, I was working on something when I left yesterday. I left it right on my desk and said, I'll pick up where I left off, right? I left everything kind of laid out so I knew exactly where I was at. So there's that. Plus, we're short potatoes for, for an early morning delivery, and I order the potatoes. Normally, we're good till Friday, but we got, a, we got an order in today we don't normally get, and so we're short four potatoes. I'm going to pick those up on the way in, and I figured I'd pick up breakfast for the guys as well. So I tweeted out, I hope, here's hoping today is better than yesterday. And uh, Eric, appreciate you, buddy. He replied back saying, it is gonna be a good, better day than yesterday. Go get yourself a Dutch Bros. Kick it off right. And I was like, damn straight, Der Eric, damn straight. Can't pick up some breakfast tacos for the guys since it's just the three of us. I was wondering why this road was so slow. Oh, of course, I'm gonna make the freaking light. Ugh. Sorry, dude. I know you're having a bad day, but you're making my day suck. I'm sorry. That that was that was very bad. He, obviously, this person could be. Uh, well, they're not injured. They're over on the street. They're, they're, he, she's fine. She's standing on her phone. She's you know talking. She's she's fine. Having a good day. Thankfully, today's better than yesterday for sure. Even Tiffany texted me. She's like, "Hey, good morning. Hope you're having a better day than yesterday." I said, "So far, so good. I don't know why, but I am." I get to my brother. I, I need to talk. I, 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 the vlogging is, a, is, a, is, is therapy for me. Streaming is therapy for me. Talking is therapy for me. Like literally what a therapist, when you see like the, the, you know, the guy on the couch laying there talking, like that's literally, it, I, I need that. I, I think I need a therapist, I really do. I think I need someone to talk to. <laughs> um, that's why I vlog, it's free. But yeah, I feel a thousand times better. I'm here by myself, brothers are out delivering. Uh, they'll both be back probably in an hour or so. One of them will be back in an hour, the other one will be back maybe two hours from now. Um, so I'm hoping to get all my paperwork done and get ready to roll out when they get here. Haircut. Hair product. Since I've got a haircut, it's time to re-up this as well. Snack time. Snack time. We got some bruschetta. We got some buffalo cauliflower. Papa's yes, got a burger. Get to do the bruschetta. Mm -hmm. And a yeah, coffee kolsch. Yeah. All right, today's the day. Bryce's first home basketball game of the season. His first game of the season was away, and it was up in Lake Havasu. We didn't go to that. But, uh, but they won and he scored four points. I didn't get a recap on that because honestly, this week's just been crazy and you know my mood has been pfft, whatever. You didn't get a chance to really talk about it, but he has scored four points uh, at Lake Havasu and uh, new coach this season. Still trying to figure stuff out. A lot of kids have moved around. Well, there's a lot of new kids. There's just a lot of new kids. One of the main reasons why uh, where he's at. We're very excited to watch him play, but we're very like, kind of like, we don't know what to expect. Um, but he's really excited. He's really excited. He's really pumped. Last time before he went to bed, he's like, I'm really excited for tomorrow's game. I'm really excited for you to watch me play. I'm like, yeah, me too, buddy. And then this morning he got up out of bed. He's all jazz and pumped. He's like, I'm ready for today's game.
First home game. Mm -hmm. You guys won by what? 20? It was like 25 or something. 25 points? Almost 30. Okay, and you had? I had seven. Seven points, okay. Slow start. Yeah. You didn't play much the first half. The second half, you came in a lot. I don't think I scored all in the first half. Maybe one bucket, but. Uh, yeah, I think it was one. But you were saying, you were talking to uh, me and my papa, like, there's just a lot of kids. Yeah, there's a lot of kids that are capable of playing good basketball on JV. So, so coach is just rotating yeah. like five in, five out, five in, five out the whole time. Mm -hmm. So, Plus, it's only the second game. I feel like he's got to figure out he's where you guys new, are. He's a new coach to the program and just a new coach in general. He's, he's a younger guy, so there's not much coaching experience. Right. So he just needs to figure things out. Right, right, right. As the season goes on. All right. Feeling pretty good, though, so far? Mm -hmm. Two feel, games in? I feel we'll be, we'll be pretty good this year. Yeah. We got another game tomorrow, back-to-back. Um, pretty, pretty tough team. We've we've lost. We played them the last two years, and all three levels we keep losing them. But I think uh, we can we can beat them this year, especially especially us like JV. I think we can beat them. Right on. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Looking forward to another season. Yeah. So we just got some rain. It only lasted for like five ten minutes, but got a little rain. Be interesting to see what happens if it, we got some down the warehouse because that always wreaks havoc <laughs> for our day and the warehouse but i'm gonna check the weather here in a second and see if we get any more tonight because it always makes me wonder if i should set the sun pump up or not not that it really matters 99 percent of the time it doesn't work automatically anyways it requires some inter intervention with myself tiffany and i just finished the golden bachelor finale i never really watched the show with her but she'll have it on in the background and i catch little bits and pieces and i kind of put pieces together i'm like oh okay there's that girl like i happen to watch the last part of the last episode with her just on the couch or whatever that that clip where we were all cute at the end yeah it's because we were watching that lovey-dovey stuff you know so anyway we watched the season finale and he picked his girl and you know it's romantic and it's like you're happy for him especially because it was the golden batch they were in their 70s she was 70 he's 72 and they're getting married and so it's like it's exciting anyway i'm going to bed i'll see you tomorrow